What's good? God damn. Hey, man. Uh, thank you. If you are watching this video, I first and foremost want to say thank you. Because, yeah, I'm just starting, so. Shout out to you. But yeah, man, also, man, I want to give a shout out to all the YouTubers that are putting out content all the time. Because shooting these videos be tiring sometimes. Almost did not want to get up and shoot this one. But I'm hoping I still got the same as usual. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely didn't think I was going to be talking about this fragrance. This uh, fragrance. Fragrance? I don't know. Is that how you say it? I don't know. But, um, yeah, yeah. Didn't think I was going to be talking about this frag. You know. I don't know. Period. But, edge I like shocked the shit out of me over the weekend so I had to pull it out and I wore it again and I actually over sprayed and it was it was really good I just really enjoyed it and uh I'm gonna edit that um but yeah so um yeah we talking about uh Barredo's Ball Dead at Freak oh my gosh look I didn't I was on a hype train with this one you know just chugging along I just kept seeing everybody you know, I kind of got to the Byredo side of YouTube, and I thought the backstory was cool as shit because I saw that he did a fragrance with uh, one of my role models, uh, Virgil Abloh, and I was like, that's cool, okay, you know what I'm saying, who is this guy? So y'all, man, y'all know about the dude, if y'all on the side of YouTube, but if you don't, ex-basketball player was hooping, then... Got into the fragrance game? No, no, no. <laughs> So, yeah. But, you know, this joint had a hype. You know, Kevin Samuel sucked it. Everybody was like, hmm, so good. When I first smelled it, it was okay. But now I'm starting to, I'm just, I'm growing so much on this shit. Because, and let me just tell y'all why I say that. The shit that I always hear, like, reviewers talk about. Like, man, you might not like it at first spray. You got to give it some time. You got to spend some time with a fragrance. Like, I'm understanding that now because a lot of this stuff, especially for my nose that is just, you know, I haven't really smelled shit. Ooh, excuse me. It's like I'm smelling new stuff. It's because it's so new. You know how stuff, everything that's new at first, you know, people usually reject it. Because they don't know how to receive it. I'm hoping this video don't stop. Because I ran out of space or something. But yeah. So um, that's what I feel like I've been doing with a lot of my frags. But my mans came through. Okay. Backstory time. My man came through or whatever. Uh, my brother. And we was just in this joint chat and chat and chat. I've been telling them I've been you know, reviewing Ferguson's and stuff like that for the channel. That I, I was about to start getting into it. So he was like, yeah, baby. Like, what you got? I'm trying to smell some shit. I said, oh, for real? I bet. So... Basically, I started giving them all the frags that I know already did videos on that I know I'm not about to get four bottles of. So I'm just going to the bag like, hmm, what else can I give my, you know, what else, what else can I give them, you know what I'm saying? And then I reach into the bag, you know, I just pull open, casually open up the Byredos, put it to my nose. I'm literally about to just throw it back in there. And then I was like, oh, oh, T, what the, it was, I like smelling good. So what happened was, the next day, I ended up going out to, like, church. I was, you know, I went to church with my mom or whatever. Because it was, like, their Mother's Day service. And I was like, okay, I'm going to wear the Byredo tomorrow just to see what it's hitting on. And I put it on. And, of course, you know, you know, look, I don't know the notes. But the thing that was throwing me off, it's a nice, I I, I want to say it's a floral, I don't know, but it's okay, it smells okay, but it kind of smells like, like me hearing the name, like Bald Afrique, and me being African, I was like, what is this supposed to be, like an African fragrance or something, I don't know. So when I first smelt it, I was like, okay, I guess, and apparently, you know, it's like a floral, it's supposed to be like a flower or something. But, you know, the opening is, you know, it's nice and fresh. It's not that heavy. But what really got me to, 
No, start like, damn, I think I got. I almost, I, I think I'm considering buying a full bottle of that joint. Was like, as I put it on, the opening's nice, kind of fresh, you know what I'm saying, kind of floral, it's okay. But it was like this creamy sweetness came in. And it was good. I was like, it was like, I, like how I grade shit is like, okay. I want to be smelling myself throughout the day, just like, dang, that's that's torch. Dang, that's torch. Dang, that's torch. So, the first time I sprayed this, I didn't actually, the first time I sprayed this, you, you know, I wasn't feeling too comfortable about it. But I think it was because... I also wasn't in like a confident state of being. I had a good fit on or whatever the case may be, but I was still kind of fresh off my experience with people not really giving me good feedback about Beach Hub Man. So I only sprayed a little bit and I could barely smell it. So the little whips I got about it, I was like, mm, I don't know. Because I was like, damn, can somebody else smell this? I don't know. And I wasn't like, I was being, I, I, I haven't even looked at no videos about it. I think I was being like a sissy sprayer. But... After the confidence I got from smelling it, that, you know, just a whiff of it the other day, I was like, man, I'm about to, I'm putting this shit on. So I sprayed a whole bunch of, just put, I put that, I put it on. And then I was walking around, I just kept getting whiffs myself. I was like, ooh. And every time I got it, it was something new. It was, it was just good. I don't want this video to run too long. And no, I didn't talk about, you know, no breakdowns or none of that shit. Man, this video is about that. Just trying to tell you about my journey, man. I don't know. Just yet. So, yeah. Um, Overall, man, I'm going to have to give this one a solid 8. 8. And usually I do, you know, letter grades and not numbers. So, let's give it a B. I'm going to give it a B. I'm banging with it. I, I don't know if I'm going to buy a full bottle yet, but I'm considering. So, you know, just wanted y'all to know about that. I banged with the joint, it snuck up on me, and I had to come back around to it. More of the story is don't judge a book by its cover, spend some time with the frag, you know what I'm saying? Wear it a couple times, wear it all the way through. I'm learning. Hope you learning too. You know, if you banging with this shit, go ahead and hit me with the, yeah, you know. All right, I'm going to holler at y'all later, man. I almost didn't make this video today, I'm tired. I, I, last week I shot so many videos, I feel like I was burning up. But perseverance is the word, man. You got to persevere. You got to persevere if y'all ain't out there sticking with y'all grind. Even when it don't feel good, persevere. All right, I'm out.